degrees to HP means let us assume it is going to be parallel to HP. The condition is one of the edges on HP means let us say that the edge is going to be consisting of HP. That is for simple position. So top will use the true shell. We have to start from the top view. No, if the problem is given, edge is going to be resting on VP and it is making some 30 degrees inclination to VP. Okay. For example, here the edge, it is going to be resting on VP and it is making 30 degrees to VP. So in this case, let us consider your plane is going to be parallel to VP. Why? Because here it is VP inclination. So your plane is parallel to VP. So plane is parallel to VP, but our condition is one of the edges consisting on VP. So you have to place your total plane on the vertical plane. Then the condition is going to be satisfied. So front will use the true shape, top will use the straight line. Okay. So that was the simple position. So always in your final position, you are going to get the reduced size and reduced shape. So frankly, it is going to be the true shape when it is going to be parallel to reference plane. When it is making some inclination, so while we are seeing from the front, it is going to be of reduced size. How can we obtain that reduced size with the help of the change of position method? Okay. So that is about the change of position method. So let us see a simple problem. So we already see a pentagonal problem and hexagonal problem in the previous class. Okay. So let us consider a circle problem. Circle is a plane. Okay. So draw the projection of a circle. Fifty mm diameter. Having its plane vertical. And inclined thirty degrees to VP. And its uh, center is and its center is thirty mm above HP and twenty mm in front of VP. So this was a problem. Okay, students, is this visible for you? Okay. Now let us see the given data. So let us see the circle is going to be a circular plane is going to be considered. A circular plane is going to be considered. So always you know the plane is having this was a circular plane having general plane is having length and width with negligible thickness. If it is a circle having only diameter with negligible thickness. Okay. So here the circular plane is considered having diameter 50 mm. So where it is going to be positioned? Let us see. Draw the projections of circle 50 mm diameter having its plane vertical. Plane is vertical. And inclined, let us say this, inclination is going to be done with VP is going to be 30 degrees, VP inclination. Okay. So VP inclination is 30 degrees and its center is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Okay. So it is, let us see the center, let us consider this was the center. Let us consider the center of the circle is going to be here. The center of the circle is given is 30 above HP 20 in front of VP. So from here it is 30 above and let us see 20 in front and 30 above HP. This center, let us see this center. Okay. So after then it is going to be making an angle of 30 degrees like this. So what are the positions? What are the final positions? That means how it should be look like in? 
point you and final talk with that we have to construct. Okay, now let us see the given data. Let us write the given data. Circle of diameter 50. Next, having its plane vertical and inclined. So, plane is directly vertical. So, that means we have to know that it is inclined, it should make inclined with HP. So, whenever plane is vertical only, then it should be inclined to VP. Okay. So, plane vertical and inclination is 30 degrees to VP. So, that means phi is given. Phi is equal to 30 degrees. Always this comes below xy line okay next is the center is center which is 30 mm above hp comma 20 in front of vp okay now let us see first of all i just draw my xy line first stage we also always should be first stage stage one Stages 1 and 2. The problem is to be completed in. So, it is inclined to one plane. Problem completed in two stages. So, stage 1 is simple position. Stage 2 is final rotation. For given inclination. So, here also you will get front view and top view. Okay. So, here also you will get the front view and top view. So, which we call it as final front view and final top view. So, simple position it is going to be considered general first front view and first top view. What we can happen in second stage is nothing but your final front view and final top view. That was going to be our required uh, solution. So, first of all, I just uh, draw two lines which are locus of 30 and 20. So, this was locus of 30 and locus of uh, 20. So, that means let us take it as locus of center C. C dash locus of C. You just consider. Okay. And if I take my any point here, if I, I am supposed to So, which you use the true shape first of all, students? So, in stage 1, we are supposed to put the simple position. What is the first condition for simple position? Assume your plane surface is parallel to the reference plane to which it is inclined. So, here it is inclined to VP. Let us put your plane parallel to, let us put your plane parallel to vertical plane. So, front you use the true shape of a circle. Okay. So, for that only, I just take here. So, this was... 30, this was 20. So, I take any center C and I draw my circle. Circle is not obtained. The shape was a hole. Now let us see. Okay. So let us consider this was your center. Okay. So for our uh, Reference, let us divide. So, why? Because when you are supposed to see the top view, we can't say what are the reference points which are going to be projected on the horizontal plane to get the straight line. So, circle or hexagonal, pentagonal, or whatever it should be. So, one view it should be looked like as a true shape, and other view you will obtain the straight line only. So, that straight line will be obtained parallel to XY. Okay. So, further only, I just uh, divide you my circle into some 8 number of equal divisions for obtaining my 
smooth curve or the reference points. Let us give the points are going to be A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash, and H1 dash. All of the distance is only it was going to be a circular plate only, circular plate. For my reference, I just divide my circle into eight number of equal regions for obtaining the referral points to join. Okay. Now, once you are going to be see from the top, so which points are going to be visible now? Which points are going to be visible? So, so up to the half of the semicircle. Let us see. If you consider your plane like this, and if you see the if you see your top, you are going to see the half of the semicircle. So half of the circle, that is a semicircle is going to be seen. Bottom semicircle is not to be seen. So top semicircle is going to be nothing but up to here. It is going to be observed. So H, G, F are going to be invisible. So if I just to project my points, these two will coincide. These two will coincide. These two will coincide. This will come here. So now once if I am supposed to join all my points, okay, so I obtain a straight line, okay. So this was your first step and this was your second step. This was your stage one, which is nothing we call it as the simple position. Now tell me what are the visible points? So A1 is visible, okay. Next, B1 is visible, H1 is invisible. So it becomes B1 of H1. Next. C1 is visible, G1 is invisible. So, it this becomes C1 of G1. Next, D is visible, F is invisible. So, it becomes D1 of F1. Next, E1 is completely visible. Okay. Next, second stage. So, what are the second stage? First stage is complete. A simple position will obtain from you and top you. Second stage. So, go for the, we already considered this and we just here, we just completed here. And all the okay. next one is pi. So given inclination is 30 degrees to VP. VP inclination always comes below XY line. And I know that. So from here, I just draw a line of 30 degrees. Okay. Now I am supposed to reconstruct my obtained top view on this 30 degrees line. By the reference point is going to be this. That is nothing but your. That is nothing but your. Logos of C, for example, this is 20. Okay. So now you reconstruct this figure right here. Okay. So let us see this becomes A. I just put my take point A and I just place here. AB has radius drawn. So this becomes B of H. Next, AC has radius drawn. This becomes C of G. Next, A, D as radius dry and arc. This becomes D of F. A, E as radius dry and arc. This becomes your E. Join all the points. Okay. Now, this becomes your third step. Step 3. What was the step 3 in the final position? Rotate your, rotate your first top view for the given inclination. What was the first top view here? It is the first top view. If it is going to be the HP problem, then what we have to do? Rotate the first front view. Okay. So, wherever you are going to obtain your straight line, that is going to be get inclined. So, here it is going to be the top view is a straight line. We are supposed to make by just reference only. But the point is, Rotate your first front view, which is going to be obtained, is for 30 degrees. That means you can also consider this was first step, this was second step. Our third step always comes beside the second only. It not comes at here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if you start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. Got it, students? Here, 1, 2, beside you will get the third step. So, what is that? Given inclination is 30 degrees. Now, Draw the vertical projectors from the final top view. What is our final top view? This was our final top view. Draw the vertical projectors.
okay and draw the horizontal projectors from the first to front view or previous front view okay so always you just remember that always our final projection will be as like as the reduced size from the true shape that you had had to remember now mark the intersection points so let us see here it is a and here it is a this becomes a dash so here it is b dash c dash d dash this becomes your e dash f dash g dash h dash now join all the points in sequence you will get an uh, ellipse shape in general so i don't go for the original construction it should come like as an ellipse okay so this was your fourth step and this is your stage 2 so always first what you have to do simple position okay student is it clear students all of you is it clear stage 1 and stage 2 stage 1 is simple position stage 2 is nothing but your final position okay so this was the plane inclined to one reference plane you will obtain the solution in two stages that is stage 1 and stage 2 only if the plane is inclined to both the planes you are going to obtain the solution in three stages simple position one first inclination and final inclination okay so always stage 1 is nothing but your simple position stage 2 is going to be the final inclination in the plane inclined to one reference plane so here the circle is going to be you consider as a plane its center is 30 above and 20 in front so i just draw the locus of centers okay c dash and c which is 30 and 20 and i take any point as center and i just draw the circle of the diameter 50 okay so for my convenience i just will divide my circle into eight number of equal divisions and mark my points a dash b dash c dash up to h dash when i see the top view i just obtain only these points are visible and this h g f are invisible so top view points are going to be obtained only or the entire plane which are going to be straight and parallel to x y so a b c d e are visible and h g f are invisible that was your stage one that is simple position once you obtain your simple position that is first step one and step two next the given rotation is for 30 degrees to vp it comes below x y Line of 30 degrees, okay, and reconstruct the first top view on this 30 degrees. Reconstruct here. Yeah, center A B as radius A C D E. I just reconstruct here. Draw the vertical projectors from the top view. Draw the previous front view here. All the other projectors. Mark the intersection points where it is going to be get intersected. So. Join all the points in sequence. You will obtain a reduced size of a circle. Okay. So here the diameter is given. So we just had to represent the dimension. This was diameter fifty. Okay, students, is it clear? Is it clear? i just give you 2 minutes all of you just copy this if you have a
Students, shall I erase this? Shall I erase this? Students, shall I erase this? Yeah, 30 degrees, someone had said 30 degrees on uh, locus of C. So, but you know that when it is going to be, it is a horizontal, if you go for here, this is also 30 degrees. Inclination with horizontal, whenever you can measure, it is 30 degrees. So, from here also it is 30, from here it is also 30. No problem. Okay, had you got it? So, inclination with the horizontal line is going to be anywhere, it should be the same inclination. Okay? Shall I raise this now? Now we just move on to the next problem that is nothing but the next topic projection of planes inclined to both the reference planes. It is nothing but the plane surface inclined to one reference plane that is either it should be inclined to HP or inclined to VP. Now we are supposed to see the plane surface our plane, okay, hexagon, pentagon, square triangle or whatever it should be. It should be made inclination with both the reference planes. All of you just clear, listen carefully. So here, projection of planes inclined to both reference planes. Okay. Now, all of you just see that we already discussed in a previous problem inclined to one reference plane. How many stages the problem is completed? Two stages. Here, the problem is going to be completed in three stages. Problem is completed in three stages. So, each stage you are going to be obtaining two steps, that is front view and top view. So, three stages means six steps. Three stages or six steps. What was the first stage? First stage always it is simple position. Remember students, this was the important for planes as well as solids, as well as sections, whatever it should be. Always in first stage, we are supposed to obtain the simple position. Second stage, it is surface inclination. In second stage, you will obtain surface inclination. In third stage, you will obtain edge inclination. Okay, so this third stage we will obtain final front of view and final top view. In third stage, you will obtain final front view and final top view. Okay, so in simple position, we know that what we do in the simple position, in simple position, generally we assume the problem is going to be given in such a manner as. So, here two inclinations are considered. So, how the problem is going to be given? Let us see. So, this is going to be a hexagonal uh, plane. Let us see. Uh, let us consider it should be the an edge resting problem. Okay, edge. So, he gives that hexagonal plane having side 30 he is making as having one of its edge on, edge on HP. Let us consider edge on HP. Okay, and the surface is making, and the plane is making, 
कितना साइज सरफेस इज मेकिंग और प्लेन इज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज टू दी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज टू दी एच पी लाइक दिस एंड द एज विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी दिस एज विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी इज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज टू दी वी पी ओके ना हाउ मेनी इंक्लेशन वी आर अपिंग टू इंक्लेशन वॉट वॉज दे फर्स्ट इज एच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी एंड द प्लेन दट मीन्स एक्सटर्नल प्लेन इज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज टू दी एच पी लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट द एज विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी इज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज टू वी पी सो हियर हाउ मेनी इंक्लेशन यू अपटेन वन इज सरफेस इंक्लेशन सेकेंड वन इज एज इंक्लेशन सो इन सिंपल पोजिशन ऑलवेज यू कंसिडर इन सिंपल पोजिशन ऑलवेज कंसिडर Our plane is parallel to the reference plane to which its surface. Inclination taken place. So always consider our plane is parallel to the reference plane to which its surface inclination taken place. In this problem, edge is resting on HP. Okay, edge is resting on HP. It is making inclination with HP. So in this problem, let us assume your plane surface is parallel to HP. Okay, so always, always consider our plane is parallel to the reference plane to which its surface inclination is taken place. Don't go for edge inclination. Only we consider for simple position for the surface inclination only. Surface inclination we already know that surface inclination in second stage. Second stage surface inclination. So whatever the surface inclination is obtained here is going to be taken place surface inclination. okay so that means uh, consider the obtained view that is step 2 okay step 2 is rotated for given surface inclination for obtaining step 3 you already know that always our step 3 is going to be decide the steps 2 so here the surface inclination means consider the obtained view that is step 2 is to be rotated for the given surface inclination okay so then from that we will obtain step 3 Next one is edge inclination. Consider always so one and two. This one you will get third. So after the three and four, you will get five and six. So consider the edge inclination edge inclination. So which edge is going to be just inclined, sir? Which is going to be inclined? That means step four. is rotated for given edge inclination to obtain step 5 okay so for example once we have our step 1 and 2 that is in simple position front view and top view so from step 2 Take step two and make it rotate for given surface inclination. You will obtain three. So from three, you will obtain the step four by drawing the vertical projectors and horizontal projectors. You will get the fourth step. And next, we go for the final edge inclination. Final edge inclination is going to be done with the given answer. The edge inclination that is whatever the answer which we obtain in step four is going to be rotated for the given edge inclination by placing given edge inclination by placing. 
the edge on that inclination okay so whatever the edge which is going to be making or consider for inclination you are supposed to make the edges to be placed on that inclination okay and then we are going to be obtain step 5 once we obtain our step 5 we will obtain step 6 how it should be obtained that is with the change of position method is draw the vertical projectors from obtain the front view or top view draw the horizontal projectors from the previous view okay so which method we are following change of position method change of position method okay all of you just note these points then we go for the problem and we go for the simple problem is it visible students board is visible right Is it okay now? Read stage two. Okay, stage two is all of you just see. You just, I just read it. You just copy if not. So stage one is nothing but your simple position. So in simple position, always you consider our plane is going to be parallel to the reference plane to which its surface inclination is going to take in place. That is stage 1. Stage 2 is going to be surface inclination. Always surface inclination is considered in stage 2. So consider the obtained view that is in step 2. Let us consider step 2 is to be rotated for the given surface inclination to obtain step 3 to obtain the step 3 in stage 2 next the stage 3 is nothing but your edge inclination stage 3 is going to be edge inclination okay so consider the edge inclination that is step 4 is going to be rotated for the given edge inclination by placing the edge on the right inclination for obtaining the step 5 which we can consider as the change of position method also. No problem. This was general uh, theory I just give you. So once we do the problem, we will clearly understand it, what is happening there. Okay. So someone had said that the board is not visible. Is it not visible? I think it was clearly visible for me in my mobile. Now, is it okay now? So, for me, I have the clear signal. I have the clear signal. What about you? You have the sufficient data? So for me, it's have I, I have the enough strength, I have the enough signal. Is it okay now? Is it visible now? Okay. 
Okay. So we will do the problem now, then you can easily understand. So stage. So first two stages are going to be as same as we done so far. First two stages. Only we are going to be having the second inclination, that is edge inclination. So that we will see here. That we are going to obtain the three stages. But the position and construction is going to be same which we done so far. Let us consider draw the projection of a regular pentagon Of side 30 mm. So, what is the difference between general pentagon and regular pentagon? Regular pentagon means all sides are of same dimensions. Okay, that is of side 30. Having one of its side in HP. Having one of its side in HP. And incline at an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. And its surface is And its surface is inclined 30 degrees to HP. Is it visible, students? Is it visible now? Is it visible now? The problem is visible. All of you just write now. Note that problem. I am going to erase the problem. So for construction. How about you know the problem? Draw the projections of a regular pentagon of side 30 mm of side 30 mm having one of its side is in HP. One of its side is in HP. And inclined at an angle of and inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the VP and it's a surface inclined 30 degrees to HP. So all of you just read the problem and tell me what is the edge inclination, what is the surface inclination. Let us see this was the pentagonal plane. Let us see this was the pentagonal plane. This was the pentagonal plane having side 30, regular pentagon of side 30, such that one of the side is in HP. One of the side is in HP. And it is making an angle of, this edge is making an angle of, edge is making an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. 45 degrees to the VP. So is it possible? So when the edge is resting on HP, and is it possible to make uh, 45 degrees to VP? No. It is, if it is resting on HP, if it is resting on HP like this, okay, then I can make 45 degrees. But it is on HP, it is not possible to make HP inclination, uh, VP inclination. Compulsorily, it should make HP inclination. For making you confused, he just give like this. That means you just confuse the surface inclination and take edge inclination as simple position. Okay, so here let us see the side that is having one of its side in HP and inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to VP and its surface is inclined 30 degrees to HP. Always the first we have to consider the surface inclination. Okay, 
always consider all of these things always consider surface inclination only for placing simple position always consider surface inclination only for placing simple position so what is the surface inclination here so for the given data let us see what is the given data pentagon side 30 and side is in hp that means edge resting problem side is on hp okay and incline 45 degrees to vp that means edge is inclined Forty-five degrees to VP that comes below x y. Next surface is inclined thirty degrees to HP. That should always comes above x y. Okay, students, is it okay? Now let us see. Okay, let us. Uh, I will try here to whether it is uh, obtained. First of all, I just take my x y. So first of all, we are going to consider surface inclination only for placing simple position. What is the surface inclination? That is 30 degrees to H P. So that means let us consider one of the edges going to be resting on H P and it is making an angle of 30 degrees to H P. So this is surface inclination. Okay. So when we see surface surface inclination, how can we obtain the simple position? Always assume your pentagonal plane is parallel to the given surface inclined reference plane. Here, surface inclined reference plane is HP, so it is parallel to HP. But the condition is one of the edges on HP, so your rectangle pentagonal plane is consisting on HP. Then only this edge is lying on HP. We already discussed in the simple positions. If it is a edge resting problem, the edge should be perpendicular to the perpendicular to the other reference plane VP. If it is a edge resting problem, so that is not a difficult matter. So that means that edge must be perpendicular to x y. We have to start with simple position. This was my pentagon. Okay, so this was the simple position stage one, and this was the first step. Why? Because means When your plane is consisting of HP, which you give the true size and shape of you, so always we have to start from the top view. Okay, so here it is A one, B one, C one, D one, and E one. Okay, so if you suppose to draw the front view, what is the simple uh, logic we have? You just uh, see in this manner which points are visible. Let us see which points are visible. B, C, D are visible. Okay, and A are invisible. So when your plane surface is consisting on HP, when your plane surface is consisting on HP, where your front view is obtained, when a point or line is consisting on HP, front view comes on X Y. Okay, so you have to draw the projectors. Okay. Up to X Y and mark the visible and invisible points. Here it is. So this was the line which we joined. So that is B one dash or A one dash. Why? Because B one point is visible, A one point is invisible. Why? Because B one point is visible, A one point is invisible. So it is. B one dash of A one dash. Next, C one is visible, E one is invisible, so it becomes C one dash of E one dash. D point is visible, so it is D one dash. This is step two. Step one and step two, which completes your stage one. Okay. Next, what we do in the stage two? What we do in the stage two? Always consider. 
This is stage one. Next, always consider surface inclination in stage two. What is our surface inclination? Or what is our surface inclination? Surface is inclined thirty degrees to HP. So thirty degrees inclined to HP means always comes above the line. So draw a line of thirty degrees. Draw a line of thirty degrees. And what we have to do? We already know that it is step one, step two, step three always comes adjacent to step three. Okay, and beside or beside step two. Always we know that rotate our step two for given inclination. Step two is nothing but your front view. First to front view is to be rotated for thirty degrees. So this becomes your step three. This becomes your so this becomes your step three. So what you do means you just place your first to front view on this thirty degrees inclination. So the edge is going to which is resting on ground. That is nothing but it is B two dash or A two dash. So in stage one, I just give my suffix as one 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 so on. In second stage, I go for suffix two. Next, this was center and this was radius. To just make my points, so this becomes C two dash or A two dash. Next, this point becomes D two dash. Okay. Once we obtain our first front view from 30 degrees, that becomes your step two. Okay. Now draw the vertical position. How do we obtain our final? Uh, that is nothing but your second top view. What we did in the previous uh, one inclination. That means draw the vertical projectors from here. Draw the horizontal projectors from the Previous top view. What is our previous top view? This is our previous top view. And now mark the intersection points. Let us see. Where are the points? So this becomes my A two. This becomes my B two. Next, this becomes C two. D two. E two. Now join all the points. A B, B C, C D, D E. Okay, so this becomes your stage two. Okay, and this becomes your if it is third, and this becomes your fourth step. One, two, three, four, and we know that consecutive step is going to be obtained beside the last step. This is fourth, so beside it you are going to obtain fifth step. Okay, so how can we obtain the fifth step, sir? So now after now we just consider only. Surface inclination. So now we are supposed to consider edge inclination. So how the edge inclination is going to be done? Simply, so side is on HP. We place our side is on HP and put the simple position. Edge is making surface is making for thirty degrees is completed. Now finally we go for the edge inclination, which is forty five degrees to VP. Now draw a line of forty five degrees. Draw a line of forty five degrees. From x y, which should become below x y, and I know that, and I know that what is going to be on stage three, stage three on step five, stage three, or we are supposed to start from step five. That is, rotate, rotate the obtained top view. That is, rotate step four on forty five degrees. Stage three. I just write here steps for stage three. Rotate. Second top view. What is the second top view? Or step four? 
per given edge inclination to obtain final top view or step 5 or fifth step okay now what is our second top view second top view is this is several top view on fourth step and it should be reconstructed on 45 degrees such that the edge is on this 45 degrees reconstruct in such a way that this edge which is resting on 45 degrees why because we already discussed that here is the pentagonal plane edge is on hp surface inclined 30 degrees and the edge which is resting is making an angle of 45 degrees to vp that means the edge is making an angle of 45 degrees like this 45 degrees so we are supposed to place our edge on this 45 degrees line okay now let us see i just take my this is my a and this is my b okay this a b is to be on 45 degrees line and i just reconstruct to obtain here so how can we reconstruct sir so let us place a b on this 45 degrees line now a at center so if we have two points we will generally get the third point let us see a at center a e as radius Diana, B as center, B E as radius at this arc to obtain point E. Next, A C as radius, Diana. B, sorry, this was C. This was E. A C as radius, Diana. B C as radius, B as center, cut this arc to obtain point C. Next, B point, A D as radius, Diana. On BD as radius, cut this arc to obtain the point B. Now join all the points. This becomes AE. This becomes BC. This becomes DE. And this becomes D. So this was your step 5. Okay. Students, is it clear? Students, is it clear? And you just have to do one thing. While you are supposed to construct the fifth step, you just have to consider you AD at a particular distance such that your D point cannot cross your XY. Your top view cannot cross XY. Why? Because below XY it is top view, above XY it is front view. Your construction cannot cross the XY and go above XY. It should not be happened. It should be below XY. Now, how can I obtain our final front view, sir? So, final front view is supposed to obtain as draw the vertical projectors from the obtained top view. What is our top view here? It is the top view. Draw the vertical projectors. Okay. Now, draw the horizontal projectors from the previous front view. What is the previous front view? This is the previous front view. This is third step. Okay. So, draw the horizontal projectors and now mark the intersection points tell me the intersection points so let us see this b and a on x y itself so here a is also going to be obtained here this becomes a dash this becomes a dash okay how do we see here first step is going to be given suffix one second first stage is suffix one second stage is suffix two third stage and the final of your five and six times are given without the suffix and this becomes my final front view and top view. Always final front view and top view are represented with A dash and A, B dash and B, C dash and C, D dash and D, E dash and E. For that only, I just neglect my suffix and I just place A, B, C, D. Next, similarly, B point is also on X, Y. This B projector also meet X, Y at here. This becomes my B dash. Next, E dash is to be adhered. This becomes E dash. And this becomes C dash. And this becomes D dash. Okay.
Now join all the points in sequence. A, B. B, C. C, D. G. And E. That becomes our sixth step. This was my final. This was my final front view. So this was my final top view. This was my final front view. Okay. And we just had to represent the dimension of a given pentagon in the first stage. That is given side is of 30. Students, is it clear now? Students, is it clear? So, repeat it again. Why we should be repeat again? So, up to the stage 1 and stage 2, we just already completed. Stage 1 and stage 2, we already did in the previous form also. What is the difference here? We just add the stage 3. What is that? Edgy place is added. So, previous uh, like inclined to one, one reference plane, we have only surface inclination is given. So, in this model, so we are going to see the edge inclination also. That edge inclination is comes only stage 3. 1 and 2 are as same as we done in the previous problems only. That is say, stage 1 and stage 2. Plane surface inclined to one reference plane. So, here let us see. The other question of a regular pentagon of side 30 having one of the side is on. One of the side is on HP. Okay. And uh, surface inclined 30 degrees to HP. Edge inclination is 45 degrees to VP. Okay, so when it is the consideration, first of all, always we have to consider surface inclination. Here, surface inclination is 30 degrees to HP. Let us assume your surface is parallel to the HP only. So, here it is going to be parallel to HP, top view gives the true shape. So, and also why it should be front view comes on XY sir. Here, the side is going to be side is resting on side is resting on HP. So, why we are going to see the uh, front view. Uh, but in top you are placing your reference plane such that it is consisting on HP to satisfy the condition of edges resting on HP. So top you use a two side length shape, then you use the line that is going to be your simple position that is step one and two or stage one. Next, always in stage two you consider the surface inclination. What is the surface inclination given? Surface inclination 30 degrees to HP. Always 30 degrees to HP means it comes above XY line. So, above XY line, I draw a line of 30 degrees. Okay. And I reconstruct the obtained front view, that is step 2 on the 30 degrees. That we, we know that 2 and 3 comes beside each other. We know how to do 2 is to be reconstructed on this 30 degrees line. Okay. So, that becomes your reconstruct here to here. Next, top is going to be seen, which is going to be comes below XY line. How can we obtain the top view, sir? Draw the vertical projectors from the front view. Draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view. What is the previous top view? This is the previous top view. I am drawing the horizontal projectors. So I obtain the second, I obtain the second top view. This was the first top view, first front view. Second top view, second front view. So next, our final solution is stage 3. That is nothing but your final front view and final top view. I can consider it as final top view and Final front view. So, how can I obtain the final front view and final top view? That means we already completed the surface inclination. In last stage, we consider the edge inclination. Edge inclination is 45 degrees to VP. I just draw a line of 45 degrees below XY. And I know that one of the edges resting on one of the edges side is in HP and inclined 45 degrees to VP. That means the side which is resting on HP. Let us see here. The side, let us see, this was the side which is resting on HP, like this, if it is making actually edge on HP, 30 degrees inclined to HP. The edge which is resting on HP is making an angle of 45 degrees to VP. So that means the edge is rotating for 45 degrees. So that I just draw my line of 45 degrees. And I place my edge, which is AB here, it is 45 degrees now. So, this is to be on this 45 degrees. So, AB is on 45 degrees line. And reconstruct the figure. 
How can we reconstruct, sir? You know, A B, which is on forty-five. A as center, A E as radius, draw an arc. B as center, B E as radius, bisect that arc. You will get E. A as center, A C as radius, draw an arc. B as center, B C as radius, cut the arc. You will get C. Next, you take these two as centers. B as center, E D as radius, draw an arc. C as center, C D as radius, cut the arc. You will get D. Now join. A B C D. So that means final top is obtained on fifth step. My final requirement is final entry and top. That is obtained by the vertical projectors from the obtained top view and by the horizontal projectors from the previous front view. So this was the previous front view. By the horizontals from here I draw the verticals. Mark the intersection points. So I just mark my intersection points A B C D E. Now I join all the points in sequence. I obtain the final front view. Okay. So always you just have to remember that first stage and second stage is done with two H pencil only. Our final stage is going to be represented with H B pencil. Okay. students is it okay can you understand now Draw the vertical projectors. I just write for how can you obtain your step six. All of you just note it. For step six, draw vertical projectors from step five or final front view. Okay, draw the vertical projectors from step five or final top view. Next, and draw the horizontal projectors from the previous front view or step three. Previous front view or from step three, and mark the intersection points. And join them for obtaining the final front view. That is the what I written there. Okay, students, is it clear? Can I raise this and move to the next problem?
So this was such an easy problem. You just have to remember the three points. So what are the what are the three important points? What is the simple position? What is the first inclination? What is the last inclination? Always in simple position. Let us assume your plane surface is parallel to the surface to which it is inclined. So always first consider the surface inclination. Okay, and then make your plane surface parallel to that given surface. Okay. Someone had uh, someone are going to put their thumbs down. What is the problem? Don't you really understand the problem? Why you put your thumbs down? Can you type that in a chat? Why you are placing your thumbs down? Don't you understand this problem? Okay, I am just erasing this and we move to the next problem. How do you write the problem? Draw the projections of a regular hexagon. Draw the projections of a regular hexagon of side 30 mm. Draw the projections of regular hexagon side 30. Having one of its edges in HP. One of edge in HP. An inclined sixty degrees to VP. An inclined sixty degrees to VP. And its surface is making forty five degrees to HP. And its surface making forty five degrees to HP. Draw its projections. Okay. Is it clear? Now it is clear. Draw the projections of a hexagon of side thirty thirty mm. One of it is in HP. And inclined 60 degrees to VP. It's a surface making an angle of 45 degrees to HP. Now tell me what is the given data and what how can we consider the simple position given hexagon side 30 one side or edge in HP. Okay, and surface inclination is given. Surface inclination always consider first. Surface inclination is theta is equal to forty five degrees. That comes always above x y. Next, edge inclination. Edge inclination phi is given, which is sixty degrees to V P. That comes below x y. Okay, 
So what was the stage one? Stage one. Stage one is simple position. What we done in simple position? Okay. Assume surface parallel to the. So given inclination, surface inclination is always considered your surface parallel to the surface inclined surface. That is nothing but your HP. Okay. So that means surface parallel to HP. Okay. Assume surface. Okay. So a surface means here which surface it is? Hexagonal surface is parallel to HP in the simple position. And by consisting one edge on HP. This is stage one. So let us see first of all, I just do my stage one. So let us see this was the hexagonal plane. So how can we start my hexagonal plane simple position? Either it should be start from the corner or it shall start from edge. So this is the edge resting problem. So I just place my edge on HP. So while you are placing your edge on HP, this edge should be perpendicular to VT. So how can it should be like like it is perpendicular to XY? Okay, for that only I just start my problem as the edge resting problem. Okay, so in front of you, so parallel to HP means always top to use the true shape. So I just consider this was A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, and F1. So where your front view is to be obtained, always we know that front view is obtained on XY, right? Because plane is consisting on HP. Plane is consisting on HP. So this was first step and stage one. Let us see what are the visible points. You just put your arrow head in this manner and you can see which are visible. B, C, D are visible. A, P are invisible. So it becomes B1 dash of A1 dash, C1 dash of F1 dash and D1 dash of E1 dash. This was step two. Okay. Now what is stage two? Always consider surface inclination. So that is rotate. Okay, rotate. Step two for given. Surface inclination. Always consider the surface inclination. Okay, so that is going to be stage two. So what is happening there? Rotate step two, which is obtained here, is going to be rotated for given inclination. Okay. So which inclination? Surface inclination is given as surface inclination is given as theta equal to 45 degrees. So I just draw a line of 45 degrees. I just draw a line of 45 degrees. And I know that we are supposed to rotate the given which are going to be obtained front view. Okay. So this was the top view. This was the front view. Third step is going to be obtained beside the second step. So we have to rotate the which was the second step front view on the 45 degrees line. So this becomes your, I just reconstructing to here, this becomes B2 dash of A2 dash and this becomes C2 dash of F2 dash and this becomes D2 dash of E2 dash. Okay, now I obtained my second front view. How can I obtain my second top view? How can I obtain the second top view? Draw the vertical projectors from here. Okay, draw the vertical projectors from the 
obtain the front view that is from step 3 draw the vertical projectors okay and draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view so we obtain we are supposed to obtain the top view what is the previous top view here it is the previous top view so i just draw the horizontal projectors and now mark the intersection points now mark the intersection points those are this becomes your a2 b2 c2 d2 e2 f2 now join all the points in sequence okay this was your step 4 and stage 2 step 4 and stage 2 students is it clear up to now is it clear up to now now what was the final stage 3 always in final stage 3 we have to consider the edge inclination what is the edge inclination edge is inclined 60 degrees to the vp so draw a line of 60 degrees draw a line of 60 degrees so below x y line so this becomes 60 degrees such that the edge which is resting on hp is making 60 degrees now let us see what was the edge ab is the edge so i just consider my ab at here so this was a and this was b and i am supposed to reconstruct this at here so this hexagon is like this i just reconstruct like this okay so this becomes a as center af as radius dana b as center bf as radius cut this out next a as center ad as radius dana b as center BC as radius, like this. Then you will obtain here it is F and here it is C. Now, similarly, we can obtain F as center, FP as radius, Diana. Uh, B as center, BE as radius, you can cut this. Similarly, C as center, CD as radius, Diana. And E as center, ED as radius, you can cut it. No problem. So this becomes D and this becomes E. Now join all the points A, B, B, C, C, D, and F, E. Okay? Join all the points in sequence. Okay? Now I just reconstruct to here. Okay? So this becomes your fifth step. And this is your stage three. So you can see that beside the four, you are going to insert such that obtained top view is rotated for 60 degrees to get your final top view. Now draw the vertical projectors from the draw the vertical projectors from the final top view this was your final top view and horizontal projectors from the horizontal projectors from the previous front view what is the previous front view third step and mark the intersection points okay now let us see a a is going to be on x y so this becomes a dash next b is also on x y this becomes b dash and this becomes your f this was f dash and this was your c dash d dash e dash now join all the points in sequence a b B C C D B E E F and A F. So this becomes your final front view. So this was your step six. Okay, students.
So in fifth step on stage three, I just did it. I just what I did it is rotate my obtained top view. That is fourth step on the sixty degrees. So draw a line of sixty degrees and I reconstruct this figure on sixty degrees. How it is possible means I know that one of it is on sixty degrees. So AB is the edge which is resting on ground. So that AB is on sixty degrees and reconstruct the figure. How can we reconstruct it? AF as radius draw. BF as radius, you can cut it. AC as radius, draw. BC as radius, you will cut it. You will get C. So once I obtain AF, BC, can we get E and D? So F as center, draw. Okay. Similarly, B as center, you can draw not to bisect the point to obtain E. Next, D e as center, draw and C as center, bisect it to obtain D. Once we obtain all the points, join in sequence. I get A, B, C, D. That was our final top view. I require final top view. How can we get it? Draw the vertical projectors from the stage three. Always consider edge inclination. So that is. Reconstruct the second top view or step four on sixty degrees to obtain final top view. Draw vertical projectors. Final top view or step five. Draw vertical projectors from five and draw horizontal projectors from three to obtain. Final front view. Okay, students. Had you written that in stage three? I just uh, uh, read it out. If you can uh, want it, you can write it. Always consider the edge inclination in stage three. Reconstruct the second top view. Okay, on step four on the sixty degrees line to obtain the final top view on fifth step. So and draw the vertical projectors from the Final top view that is from five, and draw the horizontal projectors from the previous front view that is step three to obtain the final front view. Mark the intersection points and join them to obtain the final front view. Okay, and we know that the side of the given hexagon is given as thirty. We just had to mention on the simple position. That means we can say the side is thirty. Okay, students. Shall we move to the next problem? Shall we move to the next problem? Shall I raise this, students? Shall I raise this?
if you just uh, write a problem, one of important problem, a thin rectangular plate, a thin rectangular plate of side 40 by 20. A thin rectangular plate of side 40 by 20. Has its a shorter side in HP as its shorter side in HP and incline at an angle of 30 degrees to VP and inclined at an angle of and inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. Next, project takes a front view when its top view is a when its top view is a Perfect square of side twenty of side twenty and draw its projections. Okay, so given a rectangular plate of side forty by twenty rectangular plate such that it's a shorter side. It's a shorter side in HP, shorter side in HP and inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. Okay. Project its front view 30 degrees to VP. That's that's end. 30 degrees to VP. Next point is project its front view when its top is a perfect square of side 20. What is the difference to this problem to the previous problem? He just gives edge inclination and surface inclination but in this problem he didn't give the surface inclination but he just say that project its front view when its top is a perfect square so that was one of the point you just had to remember let us consider if it is a rectangle here it is a rectangle of given side 40 20 this is 40 this is 20 so where it is existing shorter side is on hp Shorter side is HP. This is HP. Shorter side is on HP like this. Shorter side on HP. This was the shorter side on HP. Next. And incline at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. That means the edge which is resting on HP is making angle of 30 degrees to VP. But first of all, what we had to consider? First of all, surface inclination. Then only it should be considered for the edge inclination. But here, he didn't give the surface inclination. Then how can we get the surface inclination, sir? But we know the point. Project is a front view. Okay. When it's top view is a perfect square. That means, if you are supposed to see it's a front, project is front view in such a way that it's top view is a perfect square. When your top view is going to be become perfect square, for example, here it is going to be edges on HP. When your surface is inclined to HP, when your surface is inclined to HP in this manner, that you can see the top view, then you will get these points on HP and these two points on HP. By joining these four, you will get a perfect square of 20. So that means, apart from giving the surface inclination, he may be asked like this. That means, it is inclined in such a way that the top view is going to be the perfect square. So that means, first we have to go for surface inclination, then we go for the Edge inclination. Let us see. Very important and uh, easy problem. First of all, let us I just draw my reference line x y. X y. Okay. So first of all, so when it should be look like as going to be the perfect square, that means surface inclined to surface inclined to H P. Then only you are going to obtain the top as a perfect square, right? So then what was the simple position? Let us assume 
your plane surface is parallel to HP. But our condition is was shorter side on HP, the shorter side. So let us consider, okay, your plane surface is consisting on HP. That means shorter side is also on HP. So top view gives the true size and shape. Okay. We just see here, this was the point. So when rectangular plane Incline it to HP only, we get perfect square of psi 20 in top view. When rectangle plane is inclined to HP, then only we will get your perfect square of psi 20 in the top view. Okay. So top view gives the true shape and size. Okay, then we know that. Okay, so this was a simple position. This was stage one and step one. Now we use the two size and shape. So let us consider this was A1, B1, C1, D1. So where your friendly is obtained. So in general, how can we obtain, sir? So here the plane is consisting of, of HP. So friendly comes on XY. Okay, so if you draw the vertical projectors from the top view, it should be obtained on x y so what are the visible points sir simply you just put your arrowhead like this for your reference you can see which points are visible b c are visible d are invisible so the points become this point becomes b1 dash of a1 dash this becomes c1 dash of d1 dash now join this so this was the step two okay Now tell me the, what are the given uh, dimensions. So this is 40 and this is 20. And how can we go for the third step, sir? So how can we go for the stage two? Always we consider the surface inclination. But shall we know the given inclination? So how much inclination it is going to be? Uh, making for uh, top view is going to be the square, perfect square. So you can see that. So when your top view is going to become 20, when your surface inclined, some angle theta with the HP, then only top view becomes perfect square. But here, I know the, which is a top view is a perfect square. So first of all, I just draw the perfect square of 20 in top view. Perfect square of 20 in top view. So that means this was 20. This was 20, this was 20. Okay, in this kind of problem, but we don't know the given inclination with HP, but I know top view is of perfect square of psi 20. So I just know this, so I just consider this is going to be my third step. This is going to be considered my third step. Okay, students. And now we just draw the Vertical projectors. Okay. We just draw the vertical projectors to obtain the vertical projectors to obtain the in general. But we know that one of the point is going to be resting very shorter side on HP. So one of the point is on XY that becomes this B2 of B2 of a2 dash. So this point becomes B2, A2, C2, D2. Okay. So this point is going to be on XY. So B dash, C dash as radius, B2 dash as center. Okay. Then you can obtain, then you can obtain this is C2 dash of D2 dash. Okay. So, this inclination is going to be measured theta. Now, you have to measure theta is equal to, okay. And in the problem, he just gives you this was the perfect square of side 20. So, you just have to mention it is 20. Students, is it clear? Students, is it clear? How can I obtain my stage 3? 
stage two. How can I obtain stage two? So apart from going for the regular construction, as step three is going to be comes beside the two, but I don't know this theta. But I know my top is a perfect square. So I just construct my top as a perfect square of side twenty. Then I know these two are going to be my end points. If I draw these two end projectors and I just reconstruct on these two end projectors, I will obtain my theta. So I just mentioned my theta is equal to. Okay. Next, next he gives that. Theta, we don't know. Okay. Next, phi is going to be known. Okay. So phi is equal to thirty degrees. That comes below x y. That means side shorter side is in HP and equal to the angle of thirty. That means shorter side is on this thirty degrees to VP. So draw a line of thirty degrees. Draw a line of thirty degrees such that my shorter side is on. Here, so this becomes A and this becomes B. Okay. And we know the construction procedure, right? A as center, A D as radius, B as center, B D as radius, draw an arc. Or simply, you can say this: these two are perpendicular to each other. One of the procedure: these two are perpendicular to each other. So I draw the perpendiculars for here. Simple construction is if I draw the perpendicular lines from A and B, okay, and I take A center draw an arc to obtain uh, D, and B center B C as radius draw an arc to obtain C. Okay, so now these points becomes your this is D, and this is C. Now join this. Now this becomes your perfect square, which is reconstructed at here of thirty. Okay, so this becomes your this is stage two. So this is step four, and this is step five and stage three. Once we obtain our final top view, I just require my final front view. How can we obtain this? Draw the vertical projectors. Okay. And draw the horizontal projectors from the previous front view. What is the previous front view? That is step four. From here, I just draw my projector, and this is my another projector. And mark the intersection points where A is going to be existing. A is on x y. So this becomes a dash, and this becomes your b dash. So this is. D dash, and this is C dash. Now join all the points. This is A B. Okay, so this is. So this becomes your step six. So this becomes your final top view. This becomes final front view. Okay, students, is it clear now?
Okay, students, shall I erase this? Shall I erase this? Right problem, a circular plate of negligible thickness, circular plate of negligible thickness, diameter 50, so diameter 50, appears as ellipse, appears as ellipse in the front view appears as ellipse in front view having its major axis 50 having its major axis 50 and the minor axis thirty minor axis thirty draw it stop you draw it stop you when the Major axis becomes horizontal. Okay, so let us see in this problem he didn't give neither theta or the surface inclination or point inclination, whatever it should be. He didn't give any inclination. But from the problem we can able to know. So how it should be appearance in front of you when having its major axis fifty and minor axis thirty. All of you just see this. Given a circle of diameter 50. Okay. Appears as ellipse in front of you. So, front view, in when you are going to be seen in front of you, it should be looked like as an ellipse. So, when it should be looked like as an ellipse? When it should look like as an ellipse? Tell me. When it should be look like as an ellipse? In front of you. Let us see. So if it is the circle, when it should be look like as an ellipse? That means whenever it is making inclination with VP, all of you see here, it is going to be like this in general. Okay. So when it is going to be making inclination with VP, okay, inclination with VP like this, then only its front view is going to be appears as an ellipse. So that means here is the axis length of the height of the axis is going to be considered as major. It is not changing. So further he just gives major axis of 50 and minor axis 30. So that means if you consider this as a vertical plane, here it is making inclination, some inclination. I don't know the inclination VP. But it should appear as an ellipse in front of you of 30. This was 30 and this was 50 height is 50 and this minor is 30 that I should know so in that manner I am supposed to consider the figure so how can you put this uh, simple position in stage 1 here it should be inclined to VP let us assume 
your plane surface is going to be parallel to VP. Okay. Let us see first of all our stable position. Stage one. So whenever you are going to be considering stage one, so let us assume stage one. Let us assume circular. circular plate parallel to VP, okay? So, for obtaining true shape and size. It is nothing but simple position. Okay? So, for that, I just draw my circle in front view. Okay. Uh, for my convenience, I just divide my circle into eight number of equal regions. Let us divide my circle into eight number of equal regions for obtaining the points to join. These are only for referral points. Okay. Mark your points. So, this is A1 dash. B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash, and H1 dash. This was first step. Okay. So, why we are going to see from the top, okay, which points are visible? Which points are visible? Half of the circle, that is, semi, this top semi circle is visible. Okay. And when you project the points, it should obtain on XY. It should obtain on XY. Now tell me the points which are visible. Top view, A point is visible. So A1, H1 of B1. G1 of C1, F1 of D1, and this is E1. So, this was step 2 and stage 1. Next, in st stage 2, stage 2, how can I obtain my, the, how can I obtain my front view? So, he already used it. Front view is given, ellipse in front view. Ellipse is seen in front of view. Sides of front of view that is 50 by 30. So 50 by 30. Okay. So appears as an ellipse in front of view having its major axis 50 by 50 by 30. So in general, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to construct the step three beside two. Okay. But we are supposed to do for, we know the ellipse which is going to be in front of you directly outside. So I just reconstruct my figure in such a way that we have to start from my third step at here. This was the remembrance point. Our third step should not come here. Why? Because I don't know some inclination of surface. But I know its front view is going to be, front view is going to be ellipse. So for that only, I just know my, and also I know the my, Major axis of major axis of so let us consider this was the major axis and this minor axis of 30. And this was the minor axis of 30. Okay, students. Now let us put my points first of all. This becomes my G2 dash, and this becomes my C2 dash, this becomes A2 dash, and this becomes E2 dash. Now, how can we obtain the remaining points, sir? Let us see. How can we obtain those points, sir? Nothing but 
and I know the two end points, and I know the two extremes. So if I draw the vertical projectors from here and here, and I know this point, one of the point is going to be on one of the on x y. This becomes my a two. Now a as center, a e as radius. A one as center, a one a one as radius going to be taken. Take it as a two as center, a one a one as radius. Draw an arc. So this becomes. This becomes E two now. Now you just consider the points are going to be. These points are going to becomes H two of B two next. This point is going to be now that is G two of C two. Next, it is going to be. You have to draw D two. Okay. Now, if you draw the vertical projectors from here, let us see. These are the vertical projectors which I am supposed to draw from here. Okay. So, and if you draw the horizontal projectors from here, I can obtain the remaining points. These four points. Now, I am supposed to join. So this becomes my H two dash, and this becomes F two dash, and this becomes B two dash, and this becomes D two dash, and join all those points. I will obtain my ellipse. Okay, so which is of size? Which is of going to be some fifty? Okay, in general we know this is going to be. Of height fifty, and this is going to be that. Now I came to know this inclination phi. So phi is equal to okay. So this was step four, and this was stage two. Okay, students, is it clear? Student, is it clear up to now? So as like in the previous problem, so where you are supposed to treat your rectangle, you are going to get a perfect square. Now he just gives the front view is going to be an ellipse of height fifty and the side and major fifty and minor thirty. So I just reconstruct my ellipse for that point. I just obtain my A to E to G C. Now A E are going to be projected downwards, and I know this top view is going to be here. It is to be on this only. So for either A as center, so this A two as center, A one A one as radius, draw an arc, and I mark my all the points on here. And if I draw the vertical projectors from here, and I draw the horizontal projectors for obtaining the H F B D, so I obtain my H F B D. Now join all the points. Okay. So this was first uh, second stage completed. Next, next, draw its top view when the major axis becomes horizontal. So that was the stage three. So I stop you when the major axis becomes horizontal means. So this is our major axis. This becomes horizontal. So this was fifty. This becomes horizontal. Okay. So when this major axis becomes horizontal, in my okay. Now this was the fifth step is going to be also comes here. Let us see. Or we just uh, don't get confused. Okay. So in general, we just get. Beside four, you are going to obtain. Now, he just gives the right to talk you when the major axis becomes horizontal. So, major axis is here. I just reconstruct in this manner. Once I reconstruct this figure, such a G C becomes horizontal. I am supposed to draw the talk you. Okay. So, how can we do it, sir? Simply, you just to see here. I just draw the horizontal line, which is going to be extended here. Okay. And I just make and draw the perpendicular from here. Why? Because G, C, and A, E are perpendicular to each other. So I just reconstruct in this manner. So reconstruct means this becomes. Sorry, let us see. So this was the final construction. So I just use my red marker.
So this becomes C dash and this becomes G dash. That means this becomes horizontal. This major becomes horizontal. So now I know that G, C and A, E are perpendicular to each other. So for perpendicular, I just draw this line such that this becomes A dash and this becomes C dash. So I know A, C, E, G. Can we get the remaining points? Can we get the remaining points? Yes, in between points. You just, for example, in between A and C, in between A and C, I have my D point. So A has center, A, B has radius. Diana. C has center, C, B has radius. Cut the arc to obtain B dash. Similarly, in between C, E, in between C, E, you have your D point. C has center, C, B has radius. Diana. E has center, E, D has radius, bisect the arc. You will get the point D. Next, in between E and G, you will get F point. So, E has center, D F has radius, diana. G has center, G F has radius, bisect the arc. You will get the point F dash. Similarly, in between, you will get G and E. You will get H. This becomes H test. Draw all the points in sequence. Okay, so join all the points in sequence. You will obtain your H such that it is. So you just rotate here. Stage two, what I done in stage two? Ellipse is in front view, so construct stage two by front view 50 by 30. Next stage three is rotate. Step three per 90 degrees, so that is major axis G2 dash, C2 dash becomes horizontal comma A2 dash comma E2 dash becomes vertical and construct the ellipse to obtain step 5. To obtain step 5. Once I obtain my step 5, my requirement is to obtain, this is my final front view. So I require my final top view. How can I obtain my final top view? Draw the vertical projectors from here. Okay. And draw the horizontal projectors from here. Horizontal projectors from the previous top view. So that is at here. Once we obtain our horizontal projectors and vertical projectors, these are going to be get these are going to be get intersected at common points. Let us see are the intersection points. So this was C here, and this was your G of C here. This becomes your C. And let us see starting from here, this is here A, and here it is A on X ray. This becomes A, and this becomes B and this becomes H and this becomes C and this becomes G and this becomes D and this becomes F and this becomes E. Now join all the points. So actually when you join like this, you are also going to get another ellipse like this. 
So if you go for the original construction, it should be come like this. Okay. So this was your step six and stage three. So once you go for the original construction, then you will get the construction like this. Okay. You will get another ellipse. Okay, students, is it clear? Is it clear? Students, is it clear? So I am. So you just do one thing. You have your textbook, right? Also, you just go through your textbook and uh, uh, do the plain search, all the examples which are going to be in your textbook or whatever it should be. All of you just go through those uh, problems also. So we already did some of the models, and in next class we will do another some four or five problems, and we will. Uh, Find out the projection of planes. Okay. So my request is all of you kindly go through the textbook and see the solved examples. What are the different models? Okay. So from next class, uh, we are, by doing the another three or four problems, okay, we will complete the projection of planes also. Okay, students. So thank you one and all. So I request again one, all of you to kindly participate in these sessions. The part preparations uh, attendance is very poor. Now it's uh, only some uh, 60 plus. Students are available right now. It is 70. Out of 180, if it is 70, what is the use uh, that we are taking such uh, such a long sessions of two three hours? But it is not uh, not to be expected from uh, three bench students. Okay, so kindly make maximum time is going to be spent on this online session. Okay, and that should be useful for you. Okay, and kindly take care about yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you, students.